Now your training session begins. Practice along with Dr. Haddocks as she presents a workshop to a group of parents in Houston, Texas. Chart. All right, so I'm just going to go in the order that they're introduced in the program. In other words, this is introduced on lesson one. Now, do you think that ever a child is going to see a page with all the sounds on? Like this? No. no, no. This is all the sounds from the whole program. So they're never going to have all the sounds all in one, one page like this. So I'm going to go here. And I'm going to do just exactly what you would do when you're teaching. I'm going to put my finger on the ball of the arrow. And then I'm going to loop my finger and get it over here onto this dot. You can think of this dot as a press button. And when I press this button, then you start saying the sounds. And you keep on saying the sounds as long as I have my finger on that button. When I take my finger off of it, then you stop saying the sound. Okay? I know you already know that that sound because you told me before. Okay, so I'm going to start right here and I'm going to say get ready and you tell me the sound. Get ready. Mm. Yes, mmm. Good job. Okay, here comes the next one. Get ready. S yes. S you guys know your sounds, don't you? Okay, this little bit tougher one. Get ready. Uh. Yes, a uh, as in apple. Okay. Next one, now this one has a line over it. I don't tell this to the children, but this is the long vowel, and that means that you say the letter name, okay? So everybody, what's the letter name? Get ready. E. Yes, E as in eat. All right, now this one is a special <laughs> one. This is a quick sound. That's what we tell the children. There's a little bitty arrow under uh, this sound, and that means you don't touch it. You're just going to go really fast under it, and the children always say that sound fast. Get ready. Yeah, that's right. Now, we don't want to say t or t or t like that. It's just what you said. How did you say that sound? That's right, very good. Now this one you may have learned different if you uh, learned by sounds how to read. This sound is pronounced with puckered lips like this, sort of like you're ready to kiss somebody. It goes like this. What's that sound, everybody? Like the beginning of reading red. That's how you say the sound. How do you say it again? I'm still touching. Good. And that brings us to a good point. All of these sounds with the dots under them, when you learn them, you need to say them at least three seconds for your child to get it in their brain. That's how you're going to teach them how to blend sounds also. They need to say the sound as long as you touch under it. So be sure you press that button for at least three seconds. And it's even better when you're beginning the program to press it for about five seconds. So the kid is really looking at the sound and saying it at the same time. And if your child stops saying it and your finger's still there, they think it's a really funny sort of game. You say, I'm still touching, and you do like this, and they'll keep saying it. And you say, let's try it again. So make sure you have the children sing those sounds out for an extended amount of time. In fact, these what we call continuous sounds, you could say until you ran out of air, and it would be fine. Okay, let's go down to the next row. This is a stop sound, so be sure not to say a quick sound. So don't say uh or i or a uh or anything else, just this sound. If you can think of a word that has the sound at the end, that will help you say it correctly. Okay, so how would you say this sound? Get ready. D Very good, yes. No uh or i. Uh. So if you think of the word uh, dad and think of the last sound in dad, that's the sound. OK, let's say that quick sound again. Get ready. D Good. Here's another sound that we can say as long as we have air. So I'm going to press that button. You keep on saying it. Get ready. E. E. Yes, as in in. Good. OK, this is a really tough one now. This is one that you have to say in your throat with your tongue out between your teeth. Let's see if anybody can say that one. Get ready. Mm, very good. Let's say that again. It's going to make your tongue tickle if you're doing it correctly. 
It's like this. And if you say it long enough, your tongue will start to tickle. Let's say it again. Yes, not that's another sound. The one we're going to teach is the one that is in most words at the beginning of the word, such as this and the and that. Let's have that sound again. Get ready. Beautiful, yes, th. Okay, here's another quick one. Remember, don't put a uh or an i or anything on the end of it. Just say it very nice and quick. Get ready. K Perfect, you guys are great. Next one, get ready. Aww. Yes, ah, such as on in the word on. Next one, the other word, other part of the word on, get ready. Mm. Boy, you said it as long as I touched it. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, next one, get ready. Yes, get ready. Uh, uh, very good. I'm not touching. You got to stop touching. <laughs> Saying it when I touch. Let's see if you can follow in. Don't say it anymore after my finger's gone. Get ready. Uh, Whoa, you guys are very good. All right, next one. Get ready. Uh, oh, that's sort of hard for kids a lot of times, too. Especially little bitty kids might say it like an R sound. Let's say that L sound again. Get ready. Oh, good. Okay, next one. Get ready. Ooh, this is like the beginning of the word was or would. Ooh, sort of make your lips sort of puckered up on this one too. Get ready. Good. Okay, another quick one. Get ready. This one you say. G. All right, let's do it again. Get ready. Okay, try not to put an I on the end of it. We want it like the end of the word dog, like that. Try not to put any I on it, okay? G like that. Yeah, good. Again, everybody? G good job. This is the word I. Now, you might be wondering why none of the other letters are capitalized. Remember I said these letters are written like this to make it very easy. So if they had to identify both the capital and the lowercase letters, that would make it more confusing for children. So we teach lowercase letters because why do you think? We, we're going to teach later the alphabet in the capitals, but why would we start out just with the small letters, not the capital letters? Why do you think that's so? We're, remember, we're trying to make reading easier. Confuses them. Hmm? Confuses them maybe? It would confuse them to have both the capitals and the lowercase letters, and when we read words, most of the words are in lowercase. It's only at the beginning of a uh, sentence that we're going to have an uppercase letter or a capital letter or somebody's name. So in the very beginning, we're going to read letters that are small or in the lowercase. Now, also you might be wondering why these particular letters are introduced in that order. The reason they're introduced in this order is because they are the most functional sounds, so they make words the fastest. Uh, something else you might be wondering, why do they look sort of funny? This vowel has a line over it, or this letter has a line over it, so we know we say the letter name to discriminate it from when it doesn't. It just says the sound. All right, same thing. You might be wondering why the TH is hooked together. Again, so the child will know this makes one sound as to discriminate it from the T when it's all by itself. Okay, let's go on. We just did the capital I. It's the word I, so I'll ask you again. What word, everybody? Uh, I. I. Yes, that's the word I. Okay, here's another hooked together one. Let's say this sound. Get ready. Yes, shh, as in shut the door, okay? Here we go, has a line over it, so don't forget what you're going to say, get ready. A. A, right, here's a quick one. Remember no I, A, uh on the end of it, get ready. Very good, is correct. Quick one again, get ready, is right. Next one, get ready. 
Oh. Oh is right. Good saying it as long as I touched it. Next one, you have to say it as long as I'm going to touch it again. Get ready. V is right. Good. Here's a quick one. Get ready. Yes, let's do that again. P is correct. Very good. Now here's a combination and it says R. What does this combination say? R. R. These two letters come together. What do they usually say? R. R is right. Here's a quick one. Get ready. Ch yes. Ch Get ready. A. A is right. This is a hard one a lot of times for children. They mix up the a as an elephant with the <coughs> I as in in. Now depending on what part of the country you live in, there will be differences in how you pronounce the sounds, especially the vowel sounds, so that if your child is sounding out the word the way he or she says it when they're just talking, that's fine. So if it's not exactly the way I say it, that's okay. Just how, uh, however the child is sounding out is how you are going to be having them say fast that particular word. Okay, let's see, where did I leave off? I was at the E, eh, so now it's a quick one. Get ready. B. B. Try not saying any, I just said an uh on it, but try not to. Here's another combination. You can tell it's a combination. It has a little line over it, and what do you say for this? Depending on the region you live in, again, some people in New York pronounce this different from the way you might in Texas or California. Here's how I say this. Ing. You say it however you pronounce. When you say the word sing, how would you say the last part of that word? Get ready. Ing. Yeah, that's how you say it too. Okay. Next one. Remember it has a line over it. Get ready. I. Yes, I. Now this one is very different. I didn't learn how to read by sounding out words, but my dad did teach me some sounds. But he didn't teach me to say the sound the way I'm going to teach you. Remember some of the sounds we modify again to make it easier for the children to learn to read. And some of the sounds that normally you might treat as quick sounds, we're not going to treat as quick sounds so that children can blend together. I'm going to show you how we pronounce this sound. Now, when I learned how to read, my dad told me this was ya. If I tried to sound out a word with ya at the beginning, like ya, elo, I wouldn't know what that, ya, elo, what word is that, ya, elo. It's too hard to blend together, but if I were taught instead, ye, it would be lots easier for me to sound that out. Yes, yard. So that's how I'm going to teach you to teach the child to read. What sound are you going to say for that Y? Get ready. Ye. Ye. Yes, like Y E E is an easy way for children to blend when they're sounding out. <coughs> e R sound. Get ready. Er. Er. By the way, you, good job on that ER. When you refer to these symbols or these letters, when we first start teaching up through about lesson 74 in this program, we're going to call them sounds because that's all we need to refer to. Children are sounding out words by saying the sounds, not the letter names. So that's what we're going to call them sounds. So these two go together and they say the sound ooh as in Boo. What's this sound, everybody? Ooh. Ooh. Good job. Here's a quick one. Get ready. Ch good job. Now this one, if we wanted to be very fancy when we spoke, we could call this because I think long ago when people were writing books by hand, they probably really should have written HW because if you're being very fancy and when you say the word whale, you'd really say whale, and where are you going? But most of us don't speak like that. So when we're out on the playground talking, we're probably going to say, where are you going? And I saw a whale in the ocean. So we're going to sound out words by calling this the same sound as we call the W. Later on when we're spelling it, we can just say it's the one that's made with two letters, okay? So how are we going to say the sound, everybody? Get ready. 
Yes, woo. Let's say it again. Get ready. Ooh. Very good. Okay, now this is the only vowel. When you say the sound for the long vowel, you don't say the name. It's actually going to be a different vowel name. It's going to be I. So let's say the sound for this long vowel. Now I'm saying long vowel to you. You don't have to say that at all, and please don't to your child. Get ready. I. Yes, that sound is I as in fly, my. Okay, next one you do say the letter name. And again, I'm saying this to you, I'm not saying it to the children. Get ready. You. Yes, you as in cute. All right, here's another one that when I was a kid, I learned this as a, a quick sound like that. But again, listen how it is if you were sounding out a word, if you were a young child. Qu ick. And then when you ask the child what the word is, he'd probably say ick, right? All right, so we want to blend those sounds together. And to make it easier for a child to blend, we're going to teach the sound K-O-O. -O. How are we going to say that sound? Coo. Yes, coo. Quick queen. Then it's easy to blend together, isn't it? Okay, here's one that's sort of, sort of a stop sound, but not re really. It sounds like KS. It sounds like the sound that water makes if you threw it on a hot grill. It'd say that sound. KS, it sounds like this. Kss. How do you say this sound? Kss. Yes, kss, as in box and six. All right. What sound is that, everybody? Kss. Right, kss, K-S sound. Here's a good one. Most kids can say this because it's the bu busy B sound. Everybody say the sound. Get ready. Zzz. Yes, zzz. All right, this is a combination letters, and it says E. What does this say? E. Yes, E. This is much later in the program, near the end, as you can see, end of the list, end of the program. And these two letters go together and usually say A. What sound? A. Yes, A. And these two go together and say OW. What sound? OW. Yes, OW. All right.